it's exhausting getting in a relationship and out of a relationship, constantly running through people and, and dating them and giving them certain aspects of yourself and then the relationship doesn't work out. You still gonna pick on me. It don't matter who I am. Pick on you. I'm not picking on you. You're driving I'm a, and I can smell alcohol off your breath. But I'm not drunk. Could you do a vacation as a first date? <laughs> yes. See now this brother then jumped on a plane. Looks like he went to Ethiopia. This looks like they look Ethiopian. Hey guys, welcome back to Mortal Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Also, smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into this. You can be anything you want to be in life, but do not, do not be desperate. Mm -mm. My one friend tonight that I wanted to hang out with said he was busy, and I was like, okay, cool, bit, no problem. We'll get up tomorrow. No issue. Now, this guy who has been trying to talk to me, and when I say talk to me, I mean like texting me casually, calling me casually, texting me. It is 8.30, you guys, and said what you up to tonight let's go see a movie now if this had been just a friend and this was like a last minute type thing i would be okay with it i would be like okay cool bet you know let's go i ain't doing nothing i wanted to get out the house tonight but this is a person who has been trying to talk about planning a date with me now i let them just talk blah 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 blabber because it ain't bothering me none. But if you think I'm about to go to the movies with this person, you got to be out your absolute freaking mind. And this is not on no mind game. This is not on no trickery. This is on self-respect. Like, a date means something planned in advance. You set a date. You don't set just a time. Like, you don't tell me two hours before to be somewhere. That's crazy. So, you know what I'm going to write back to this man? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm busy tonight. I already have plans, but maybe next time let me know in advance. Have a good night. And how he respond to that? Going to determine whether he even gets a second opportunity to plan a date with me or not. Yeah, man. Now, you guys see these layers. This man is not even thinking this way. This man needs to listen to a certain man if you want to date in the West, you have to understand these certain tactics. This man needs to listen to alpha male strategies because he will help this man learn female terminology in the West. I'm talking about down to the little nuances. <laughs> you need game, right? He has to understand how to play the game of the modern woman. That's what it's like if you stand behind. If you don't know the game, your, your poop's creek. Because I'll be honest. I had game. I didn't know how to play the games. I didn't have the... I didn't have all the nuances that somebody like he had. So, yeah. I was lost. But I was fine because I still got woman. It's a lot of things that go into it. Let me get on to the next one. I feel like one of the things we don't talk about enough is how we weren't meant to just be going through all these dating experiences and running through all of these different people. It's exhausting getting in a relationship and out of a relationship, constantly running through people and, and dating them and giving them certain aspects of yourself and then the relationship doesn't work out. You have to get tired of walking away from a relationship feeling like I have to pick up so many broken pieces that this person left behind. And this is why God wants us to go through the process of courting, not dating. Because if you allow someone to court you, what you're really doing is building a solid friendship with them. So that way you can really get to learn and understand their values, their beliefs, their morals, what they're like on good days, what they're like on bad days, before you're even committing to anything permanent. And by removing all of these things that the world encourages and being able to say, okay, you know, I'm going to do it God's way so that I can confidently see who this person is without having to second guess, without having to like manipulate or go through all these holes. I can confidently discern if God is calling me to this person. And if I spend the time that I need to be spending in my single season, discovering who I am, discovering my purpose, I can also then clearly see if this person complements that. 
And I think we really have to ask ourselves, you know, all this dating that I'm doing, am I really allowing God to nurture who he's called me to be in my single season before I'm trying to figure out, am I a match to somebody else? It's gotten so, so, so far away from what she's saying right now, especially in the West. And she comes across like a Western woman. Now, she seems like she may be a little bit young, so I'm not going to go all the way on her. I'll say a woman like her. Seems like she's under 30. Stick to that, right? Have that same mind frame with every man you're dating. Don't give in to the guy that makes you feel a certain way, and you'll be fine. There should be more women like this in the West. There's not enough. I don't even know if she she's in the West. I don't even know if she's from the West, right? She looks a little West Indian. I don't know, but... We need more of this, but we're not going to get it. And that's facts. We're not going to get more of this. We're going to get more of women that are used to being going from guy to guy, that are used to dealing with random guys. And who's dealing with this mostly? Not guys. Guys aren't picking through women left and right. Certain guys are, but that's not most of the population. So, yes. I think what she's saying is great advice for women. I think every woman needs to follow what she's saying. Guys too, but women mostly, right? Because it's different. Sometimes women, well, a lot, all the time, women don't mind a guy being around a block, but it's not the same for guys. Guys care. So stick to this. Let me go to the next one. Okay. okay. All right. how, many, how many drinks did you have today? I'm cool. I'm I ain't, cool. Yeah, I ain't drunk or nothing. Um, how many drinks did you have now? I'm okay. Um, That's not my question, but I'm asking you how many drinks you have. I'm not good. I, I, I'm okay. Okay, well, what did you drink? I'm okay. In just a few moments, I'll have you step out. Um, but not only can I smoke... I can't... That's Glorilla, and she's expecting a cop to know her. She sounds lit. When you keep saying, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, it's like when you're in a club, you're drinking, oh, I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm not even drunk like that. You think you're not drunk, then you get outside and start walking, and the truth comes out. I smell alcohol coming from your breath, but I can also smell marijuana coming from this car. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So, in just a moment, I'll be searching this car. Is there anything that I'm going to find in this car? I have a uh, gold ridge to my knife. Again? Okay, yeah. where's the gun at? It's okay, you don't have to reach for it. Where is yeah, it? Yeah, who's in the car? You don't know who I am. Okay, well, you're not out. I know, last name Woods. Uh, from what I just saw, but oh, yeah. that's all. Uh, it's all right, it's all right. Uh, but yeah, it's okay. I'll wait on you. Enlighten me on who you are. You're seeing me. No, because you still going to pick on me. You don't matter who I am. Pick on you? I'm not picking on you. You're driving I'm and I can smell alcohol off your breath. But I'm not drunk. I can tell you, I can promise you that I can put it. The cop probably knows who she is. <laughs> she trolling right now, but she knows who she is. Yeah, I'm on your TV. Ma'am? I said, I'm on your TV. On my TV? Yeah. Okay. So get this over because I'm not drunk. All right, so step out and then walk to the front of my car, okay? I told you I had the piece off. That's why my pants, my flowers are here. It's okay. okay. Just go to the front of my car, okay? You start whenever you want to. Drunk girl. Don't She's drunk. That we do, they check your, it, 
it checks all kinds of things, okay? Yeah. And that's what determines if you were a DUI and now whether you did. Oh, man. She going down. She's drunk. She thought the officer knowing who she was was going to get her out. But, hey, it's even some state centers that go through this. Usually they get a, a smack on the wrist, but I hear about all kinds of people getting caught, but it's her time. It's your turn to get caught up, possibly lose your license. Why would you be out there driving? You can't get a designated driver. You're Glorilla. Come on now, get it together. Really? Whoever is her uh, manager, stop letting her go out there on her own. Getting Actually, she went out on her own. She's not around her manager or nothing. In the car by herself. Yeah, she went on her own. Probably hung around some guys she met on the street and said the same thing. You don't know who I am? You know me, right? I'm on your TV. <laughs> Congratulations. You played yourself. Could you do a vacation as a first date? Yes. Vacation. Huh? Me. Please vacation me. Actually, let's skip all the small talk. Let's go somewhere. I like to travel personally. I know your favorite color on an island. You know, have those type of conversations there. I don't want to have small talk drinks with you at my favorite local bar that all the time. Like, let's just go to Cuba. You know, something like that. I like it. I'm into that. <laughs> know your favorite color on an island. You know, have those type of conversations. Man, there. Listen. I don't want to have small talk drinks with you at vacation. my favorite local bar. That Some bay things need to be happening. Right? Vacation? Man. I got to see what it's looking like before I go on that vacation. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily expect it on a, on a first date normally. But on and the trip. That, but on a, but on but the on trip. trip like At this. least Drew is honest. I'm not taking a girl on a vacation if I ain't sampling them goods. I got to sample something. And it got to be tight and right. If a girl is all loosey-goosey, that's why guys don't take women on vacations. She could be all loosey-goosey, been with Tom, Dick, and Larry at the same time. Vacation, my aunt. That's how guys feel. And it's not guys being cheap. When they always say, oh, I have no gold to dick for because I'm making a certain amount. Yeah. Yeah. So take yourself on a vacation, Miss Moneymaker. I don't know if that's her case, though. But still, you guys get what I'm saying. And it's, this is red light, green light show. That's a red light. Now, her putting somebody down together and going on a vacation, that's good. Or her being with me and I know how it is and it's only for me going on a vacation, that's a green light. How I feel, instead of me taking a vacation, I would rather spend that money, get on a plane, and do something like this. Right? See, now this brother then jumped on a plane. Looks like he went to... Ethiopia. This looks like they look Ethiopian. That's what a man's trying to do. Get on the oh man and go see some hot things. That's what a man's trying to do. Go see some hot things in like Ethiopia somewhere or maybe somewhere else. Or go to Brazil or something. Right? And no offense, lady. I don't know you, but guys aren't trying to vacation a woman because a guy knows. When the, most guys don't know, but a lot of guys are starting to realize. I go overseas. Spend my money to go overseas. I'm not spending as much money when I get there. Because I'm not going with a woman that's going to, oh, he got to bait me out on vacation. He got to buy me this, that. Yeah. It, it don't stop. It don't stop. A guy's over there, and women are going, I don't need a man to oppress me with buying things. What, are you trying to buy me? They're not... Talk saying it in that tone, but that's how they feel. Guys want to be around women that feel that way. That's what we do, right? Yeah. Yeah. That feel that are beautiful, like these women are, and will say, Oh, I don't need a man to buy me. That's a shame to them. Why, why are you, you trying to buy me? How dare you? And these women make no money at all. You, you know how that feels? A woman that makes $5 an hour. Or two dollars an hour, saying, "You can't buy me." Can have dignity, equality. You know, oh man, talk sexy to me, baby. <laughs> Tell me again, I, I can't buy you. I can't. Really, like, like that's not a turn off. That's like, oh, I can't. That's a great thing. And guys want to find more of that because we realize this is the way. 
Your passport, bro. Cash for no. There's definitely more to life than vacation and one back home like you. See you on next video. He ain't lying.